Every day I'm hustling. Every day I'm hustling. Welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode. Welcome to another episode of Gamecocks Talk with Captain Will. I am your man. I'm your man, Captain Will. Uh, make sure you like, make sure you share, make sure you subscribe to Gamecocks Talk with Captain Will so I can continue to bring you that gospel of Gamecocks every single day. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, you are now rocking with the best. And since you're rocking with the best, come rock with your man, Captain Will. Hey, we got a good one today, y'all. We got a good one today, y'all. We are celebrating another, another, another victory by the South Carolina uh, Gamecock women's basketball team. We are celebrating another victory. Before we jump into this game, before we jump into this game, I want everybody, I want everybody to say, we be and him, we be and him, we be and him. Let's go. This is a celebration shot. This is a celebration shot. I got some uh, Milagro tequila, got some Milagro tequila, that type of evening tonight. We are doing a shot of tequila. So, so you already know it's shot o'clock. It's already that time. It's already the time. It's already that. so get your get your shot glasses up. Get your shot glasses up. If you you don't have a guy a shot glass, get you a little uh, 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 a pitcher. Get you a small uh, coffee cup of, of sweet tea, some water, some 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 bright and early drink, some some ginger ale, some sun kiss, some new grape soda, whatever it is, whatever it is. It's time to do shot o'clock on our game cards one again. Shots up. Hmm. Let's go. Let's go. Ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, the pregame show. In the pregame show, I mentioned that I thought this game was going to be a 15 to 20 point victory. I thought it was going to be a 15 to 20 point victory. Right? I really did. I thought it was a 15 to 20 point victory. And I thought the game got to methodically beat down Texas AM. Well, that didn't happen. Texas A&M, the number two ranked defense, according to uh, Nick Rankins, almost gave up 100 against South Carolina. What? What? I'm telling you this right here. In their own place. In their own place. Joe Tyler looking at him like, what the hell? What happened? What happened? South Carolina on some other stuff, y'all. South Carolina is on some other stuff. We on some. Some 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 historic proportion type stuff. Now we are we are on some stuff that 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 is a, we on a different level. We are on a different level than other basketball teams because you got other teams losing. You got other top teams that are losing or other top teams that are keeping it close. Well, South Carolina ain't losing nothing. Ain't losing nothing. On the day that Iowa lost against Ohio State, South Carolina won by thirty five against Texas A and M. Against Texas A&M, at Texas A&M, Texas A&M ranked, uh, and then that rank was 28, 28th in the country. You mean they're a good basketball team? You wouldn't know it today. You wouldn't know that today because South Carolina just took them to the woodshed and just whooped them, just whooped them. The old-fashioned whooping with the switch and with the thorn still in them. That's how that's how we beat Texas A&M tonight. That's how we beat Texas A&M tonight. It was embarrassing. It was embarrassing. It was out at times I felt sorry for the players. I just felt sorry for the players because we comes out in waves. That's Carolina basketball. We don't wear you down. We don't wear you down. And, and it's just because we got oh what nine five star recruits and nine million dollars all American. We don't wear you down. It doesn't matter how long it's gonna take. It doesn't matter how long it's gonna take. So 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 with this game, I think one of a 16, 15 0 run to start the game. South Carolina came out and we're gonna take the crowd out. We're gonna take the crowd out. And Texas A&M with them crowds, they they don't, they stand up, they stand up, and they're not gonna sit down until they score the, they score a basket. Well, they stood up for a long time because that was a long time in the first quarter before they scored a basket. And then I know they was getting tired. Then the fans were getting tired because you know some older folks out there, some older folks out there trying to stand up until they score a basket. They was like, damn, it's it's a long time. It's a long time. Then they finally sat down. And but the game was the game was over the first quarter. The game was over the first quarter. 
South Carolina, let them know we stand no business. We are ready. Ain't no, ain't no looking time to be looking over Texas A&M to LSU on Thursday night, prime time, 8 o'clock on ESPN. I say ESPN. ESPN. Ain't no time to be looking at we showed that we're gonna lay the like lay, lay the smack up down to 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 Texas AM and then go to uh uh Baton Rouge on Thursday and let them know what's up as well. We got a couple of uh all-star co-MVPs in this basketball game tonight. We got a couple of them, and we can talk about uh Camila Cardoza, we could talk about Sonia Fagan, we could talk about Malaysia Football, we could talk about Chloe Kitts, we can talk about so many players who balled out tonight. So many, we have multiple players in double figures. But I'm gonna talk about Sonia Fagan. We're gonna talk about Sonia Fagan. Six foot three, Sonia Fagan, number four ranked recruit in the 2021 class who's been balling out the second part of this season. Sonia Fagan, one of the most athletic, one of the most offensive talented players on this basketball team showed you, showed me who she is. Sonia Fagan. Sonia Fagan, who 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 started the first game against Rutgers in the, the preseason exhibition season. And then was on the bench and they put in Chloe for, for the rest of the season. But you know what Sonia is doing right now? She's getting minutes. Sonia is getting minutes. She is putting in that work. She got 15 points tonight. Oh, yeah, Sonia Fagan did some work tonight. 15 points, five for six. Five for six from the field goal. One for one from three-point. Hit that corner three-pointer. Four for four from the three free throw line. And that, it just wasn't the points. It was the defensive intensity. It was her having four rebounds and two block shots. This Sonia Fagan is the Sonia Fagan that we wanted, that we needed all year long. But we got in that SEC play. We got in that SEC play because Sonia Fagan is showing that I'm not just the, the, the fourth grade recruit in the 2021 class. I'm here my junior year, and I'm going to put in some buckets now. That's Sonia Fagan. It, it, it was against so 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 against Kentucky. She had eight points, two rebounds. Against Missouri, she had ten points, four rebounds, four assists. And today she had fifteen points. Sonia Fagan is turning into a player to be reckoned with in SEC play. In, in the future SEC tournament, and in the big dance itself. I salute you, Sonia Fagan, for being a co-player of the game from Captain Will. That is high priority. That is, like, that's something with the Oscars and the Grammys. When you make the co-player of the game for Captain Will, you are showing these girls. You are showing everybody at ESPN, SEC Network, that you are here. That you are here. And I expect the same thing to happen on Thursday night. I expect that. Now the expectation is that Sonia Fagan going to come in and do work. That's the expectation. But she wasn't the only one. Mm -mm. She wasn't the only one doing work. We're talking about Lay with the Butter, Lay Lay, Full Wiley from Keenan High School. Show up tonight. And she brought along her three-point basket. Malaysia full wow, three for five from three-point line. Uh, eight for 12 overall, 21 points. And some of these buckets look so easy. It looked like uh, uh, Texas A&M was in quicksand. It looked like they had no, uh, no way of guarding her. I mean, layup after layup, flip to flip. And then not only that, we're talking about the pretty assists. We're talking about some good defense. Malaysia Full Wiley still had three assists in this basketball game to go along with 21 points. Malaysia Full Wiley is reclaiming that, that, that talk of the, brand, the best freshman in, in, in the country. You know, you have other freshmen who gets a lot of minutes, get more minutes than Malaysia Full Wiley. But if there's any type of game, and I can have any freshman.
freshman in the country. Oh, for a while, no country's finest will be at the top of my list. Juju is good. Hidalgo is good. But um, Taylor Williams is good. But for a while, all day, every day, every day. The girl is special. She's special. Full Wiley is going to put on a show for all them LSU fans on Thursday. For the ones who 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 jacking up the pit, the, the tickets club. So 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 I, I sack a lot of fans say get them. I know y'all. I know y'all. Y'all the ones. But she gonna put on a show for y'all. So get your popcorn ready. And I know y'all might not do no sweet tea like Carolina do sweet tea. But get your sweet tea ready. Get your pig feet ready. Baton Rouge, because we've been a whole lot of talk about LSU this week. I've been waiting for this right here. I've been waiting all year long for this whooping that y'all about to get. I've been waiting, and I've been holding back. But it's going to be LSU talk all week long, starting tomorrow. But let's finish up the A&M talk. Malaysia Full Wild, Sinaya Fair. Oh, 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 we're talking about Camila Cardoso. Camila Cardoso did what Camila Cardoso does. Camila Cardoso is the most consistent player on this basketball team. She's the most consistent player on this basketball team. You look at the box score, you know what you're going to get. She's a walking double-double. Every single game, every single game, Camila Cardoso is going to get you a double-double. And tonight she had 17 and 13. 17 and 13. And then she had, what, two blocks? Camila Cardoso did what she typically does. And this is against Lauren Ware, six foot five. And in this battle of the pigs, Lauren Ware lost dramatically. Camila Cardoza showed that she's the best, if not the best, one of the best three bigs in the country. Okay? Camila Cardoza put in work tonight. Six for eight. Six for eight. Oh, no, I'm wrong. Seven for nine. Seven for nine. That sounds even better. Seven for nine. Three for four from the free throw line. Camila Cardoza going against a undersized team. Going against an undersized team at LSU. Can't wait. Can't wait. Can't wait. And then there was a, a, a Chloe Scordashian sight. That was a Chloe Scordashian sight. Chloe. Scordashian kids, Chloe Scorsese ended up with 13 points, 10 rebounds, five assists, and one block. Chloe's my co 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 player of the game. 13 and 10 from Chloe gets you player of the game. So we're talking about Chloe. We got three of them. Three of them. Co 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 players of the game. Chloe, Full Wiley, and Sonia Fagan. And I hear a whole lot about Chloe. Oh, she needs to get stronger. She getting pushed around. But you know what she ended up doing? We know what we saw tonight. We saw that mid-range jumper, y'all. We saw that mid-range jumper, and the jumper is sweet. The jumper is 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 butter. The jumper is pretty. The jumper is pretty, y'all. Chloe had a a great game tonight. Had a great game tonight. But we, we, I could go on and on. Because when you got Chloe in double figures, Cardoso in double figures, uh, Pow Pow in double figures, who had, by all accounts for Pow Pow, an uh, 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 off night. She was only one for three from the three point line, four for seven with 10 points and five assists. That's an off night for the one and only lights out. You know what I'm saying? You had Raven with six points, three for five, four assists, one steal. Solid defense. I mean, so many players played so well tonight. So many players. This was one game that we had a lot of fans who was worried. And I like, you know, it's a I think the game going to be closer than seven to nine points. Five to seven points. No. No. If Captain Will say we're going to win by 15 to 20 points, you call your bookie, you call your DraftKings, you call your fan duel, you do whatever it takes to put money on it. And I, I, I know I ain't only gambler out here. I know I'm not. But when I say it, you just go in and you better book it. You better book it. And I said, it. so, so our girls were ready. Our girls was motivated. Our girls showed. Texas A&M and the rest of the SEC, 
that there are levels. There are levels to it, and y'all not on that level. Y'all not on that level. It's just those are just the facts. Those are the facts. So I want to um do a shout out for all the 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 members in the membership of Captain Will. I want to do a shout out for all y'all. Appreciate the love. Appreciate everything that y'all doing for me. We got something dope coming in this week. Some fan interaction for the members. And, and, and the question is, how can I be a member? How can I be a member of Captain Will's platoon? Captain Will's company. How can you do that? Well, you just go to the membership page, a membership thing on my YouTube channel, click the button, and you see all the information. These are different levels, bronze, silver, gold, different levels. Your choice. Your choice. And, and become a member that way. That's the way. So cool stuff coming out soon. Hey, do a couple questions. Christopher Jones, what's up, Cap? Why in the world are we on SEC Network and LSU on ESPN? That's crazy. And we're all the – I will post that today. Christopher Jones, I'm going to let you know right now because you're trying to get me – you're trying to get me agitated. You're trying to get me agitated this morning. It ain't even morning. This evening. You're trying to get me agitated because – you know how I feel about the coverage that South Carolina, the number one basketball team in the land, the number one basketball team in the country by country mile, by country dirt road mile, the number one team in the land, okay? And why are we playing at 5 o'clock on the SEC Network and ESPN have LSU versus Arkansas? I don't know why. Could it be because LSU, ESPN loves some LSU? They love having old Kim Monkey on the, on the, on the TV screen because they love Angel Reese. The, the number 10 ranked team in the country, according to the AP poll, who just lost, is playing on ESPN while South Carolina, the number one team in the country, top three in offensive, offensive efficiency, number one in defensive efficiency, the number one team across the board in every single metric playing on the SEC Network. You got oh, Iowa playing at 12 o'clock. Playing at 12 o'clock, the first game. The first game on what, NBC? But you got to go look for it. SEC Network on Direct TV. I think it's channel six or level. What the hell are we on six, channel six or level? That don't make no sense. That don't make no sense. With you, 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 and you, this is this is the thing that irritates me. This irritates me so badly because we pick and choose. We pick and choose who we're gonna elevate. We pick and choose who we're gonna ride, raise up. We pick and choose all those things. So, so, so we're gonna talk about LSU. We're gonna talk about. All the time, all the time. We're gonna talk about Caitlin Clark getting 45 points a day in a loss. Because she shot 18 three pointers and shot 38 percent from the three point line. But the only, only, only uh, uh, Caitlin you know, Clark getting 45 points. She shot 18 damn three pointers. South Carolina didn't shoot 18 three pointers in the game. Tell you, Christopher Jones, I appreciate the compliment, but you're getting me uh, you you're getting me off track. You're getting me out tilted, and, I, and you, I I think you wanted to do that. I think you wanted to do that. Shondell Matthews, hey, Cam Will, what's up, girl? Uh, the Lady Gamecocks are playing a well balanced game tonight. Offense, defense, rebounds, free throws, they are on point tonight. Yes, yes. I mean, we even talk about free throw line. Stop doing eighty-two percent for the free throw line. Eighty-two percent. From the free throw line. Since SEC play, South Carolina been balling from the free throw line. I'm just saying, it matters now. It matters now. Free throws win games. And South Carolina's been on that business at the free throw line. Offense is always great. Defense is always great. Rebound is always great. Three-point shooting, always great. Free throws has been great since we started SEC. EC play. I mean, 67% from the field. 67% from the field. 54% from the three point line and 84% from the free throw line. That is special. That is special numbers against the number two ranked defense in the country. 
We want them up and down the court, up and down the, the aisles and the concession stands, everywhere we want them, outside, inside, through the, the back, in the locker rooms. We did. That's what South Carolina did in their own place. But it's just a, an appetizer. Because we get the main course on Thursday where well, we're going to whoop up on LSU. Get that main course. Mm -hmm. Country Notary, because uh, you went to the game. My sister, you went to the game, Country Notary. The arena is jumping during the timeouts. Great DJ, the AM game announcing fans are keeping a positive attitude. That's great. And I think that that stems from Joni Taylor. I think it stems from Joni Taylor. She's an excellent coach. She's an excellent, excellent coach. Can't take nothing from her. Great coach at Georgia. Great coach now at Texas AM who's turning that program around. She's going to be one to watch in the future. And you know her and Don Saylor are great friends anyway. And they're going, they're going through the um, after the game, the hand claps and things like that. Hugs. Hugs to the uh, head coach and assistant coaches. That's when you know that you're respected and you love. So that rubs, that, I mean, that's, that, that's how I go. I mean, the fans in Texas A&M are going to be much different than the fans at LSU. They are. Because I know LSU would act a damn fool. I know they're going to act a fool. Um, Frank Wright. Love the name. Frank Wright. Cap. I put a bet on Carolina about 14. Tell me, bro. About 14 points. You know that's a given. And you know, Frank Wright, appreciate it. I'll be doing my um, I'll be doing my prediction on I'll be doing my prediction on because I'm going to do a pregame show. This is what I'm going to do. Since it's going to be Thursday at 8 o'clock on ESPN. And you know they got college game day. They pulling out everybody. They got L. Duncan and Rebecca Lobo and, and um Carolyn Peck. And they pull out all they're all the all the stoppers, all of them. You know, all of them gonna be there. So when they start their thing at seven o'clock, Cam Will gonna be starting at 645. 645. Cam Will. Y'all tune in at 645 for the real pregame show. The real pregame show. From 6.45 to tip-off, and then we'll turn up after the game at 10 o'clock. So, appreciate it, Frank Wright. Make sure you get your bets in on uh, Wednesday or Thursday. I'm going to have my prediction on Wednesday's show. Uh, Adam Ritter, LSU game scares me. I'd rather lose now than later on. Bro, Adam Ritter, don't, we, 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 uh, we ain't doing nothing right there. We ain't doing nothing right there. Mm -hmm. No, nah, boss. We ain't doing nothing. We ain't on it. We don't know no bad. We don't know bad vibrations. We don't know no bad energy. So Adam Ritter, mm -mm, bro, that's not entering the zone. That is not in the zone. That's not welcome. He is not welcome in the zone. LSU don't scare me at all. They don't scare me at all. They don't. I, I can give a, a synopsis of what I think the game is going to go down, but I just say it like this for him. LSU play six players. That's all I'm gonna say. That's all I'm going to say. High vibrations. High vibrations. I like that. LSU going to have a hard time. Game costs are too deep of a team. We have too many weapons. We do. We have too many weapons. You know, because Tessa, Tessa went down with the, you know, the ankle injury. And that was that, that was a, a bad stuff. Uh, she rolled the ankle pretty good. And they had a walking boot. And I know Country Notary was checking her out. No, checking her out and everything. Um, but. Tessa is um, she's she's a great prospect. She's a great prospect, and it's going to be a great player for South Carolina. And I hope she plays on Thursday. I hope she plays on Thursday because she's six foot one, can guard, she can shoot the three, and she's going to bring the pain if she plays. If she does not play, I'm not worried. I'm not worried because when you have nine five star recruits, I don't. It don't really matter to me. The next player up. So when Tessa isn't playing, if she don't play on Thursday, you're going to see Paul Wiley get more minutes. That's what's going to happen. Paul Wiley going to get more minutes if Tessa can't play. You're going to see a tick up. See, this, this will be a game also where the bench will shrink some. The bench will shrink some. So to that game, you saw Fagan. And you saw Watkins were the first two players off the bench. Those were the first two players off the bench. You're going to see that same scenario on Thursday. The first two players off the bench are going to be Sonia Fagan and Ashton Watkins. Because when we sub our 
uh, Cadoza, and we sub Chloe out the game. We got two more five-star recruits coming to the basketball game to add another wave into the LSU who don't play a lot of plays. But in, in Tessa's normal rotation of coming in, you just got to have full Wiley coming in and play those minutes more. You gonna stay full, you, full Wiley going to play a lot of minutes on, on Thursday if Tessa isn't playing. You might see upwards of 25 minutes of full Wiley in Thursday's game. But I'm not mad. Because LSU is not a stellar defensive team. I'm just saying. They ain't. They ain't no stellar defensive team. They are. They ain't, and it sounds crazy to me saying this after we scored 99 points against AM. AM defense way better than LSU. And so it's easy for me to say, oh, we scored 99 points against AM, number two ranked defense. Well, how many points are we going to score against LSU? And then, you know, everything ain't apples and oranges, everything ain't like that. But I tell you this right here I don't think it's going to be a problem scoring the basketball. I don't think that's going to happen, you know, with or without Tessa Johnson. Now, I hope, but we're praying prayers up for Tessa that she's okay. Mocha Latte, my left knee is trash, but my left ankle is solid. Tessa can use my <laughs> girl, you crazy. <laughs> Mocha Latte, you about like me. You about like me. Well, uh, I ain't gonna say my left, my le yeah, my left knee that cracks every time I move. That's my left knee. So, yeah, I mean, she, she, I mean, we, we all, we all hope that Tessa is going to be fine. And we hope that this ain't going to be a lingering injury that that we see with going with her. Like Steph Curry had, like LaMelo Ball, who seems like he, he's brittle up here in the Charlotte Hornets. You know, we just praying prayers up for her. Prayers up for her for quick. I mean, they, they, these are babies, so they get they healed up quick. They, they, they heal up quick. They like us. You know, I sprained my ankle. I'm out for the year. I'm out for the year. You know, I twist my knee. Mm -mm. Cap will tap it out. Tapping out, subbing in for a co co host. <laughs> subbing in. But um, it's, I think it's about shot of clock time. It's 20, we're 27 minutes in, and we got a lot of questions. Oh, my. And I love this is what I love, man. This is what I love. I love the fan interaction. I love when I log in because when, when I'm watching the game, I'm completely tone deaf. To the comments and everything, I'm locked in and taking notes and all these different things and enjoying the game and and preparing what I'm going to be talking about when when the lights go on, right? But I just I love seeing I'm like oh these comments that's really dope. It's really cool. I really love that. Um, Demetri Glenn, everybody smash that like button. You're right, brother. If you're watching right now, we got 295, 295 people watching right now. Hit the like button if you're new right now. Hit the subscribe button. Also. Like, I got the thing, the banner says subscribe wherever you get your podcast. So go to like Apple. This is what I need for everybody to do. Go to Apple Podcasts or go to, yeah, go to Apple Podcasts. Okay. And if you don't know how to get the Apple Podcasts, ask your, 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 your son, your daughter, your granddaughter, probably your grandchild, whoever, they know how to do it. They know how to do it. So get somebody to do it and, and go to Gamecocks Talk with Captain Will on Apple Podcasts uh, and, and hit the follow thing. And so you be locked in so you can get the, the podcast version, the YouTube version. Because sometimes you're not able to get on YouTube. You're not just able to get on YouTube. Sometimes you might want to hear Captain Will while you're driving. Sometimes you might want to hear Captain Will while you're supposed to be working. I don't want to lose their job. I don't wanna, you might like to hear Captain Will when you're out there in, in school. You know, you know, got a couple of sisters who are in college watching right now. You know, just hit the podcast then put your little buds in and, hear, and, and just hear the goodness. The goodness of Captain Will. So that's what I need y'all to do. Go to Apple Podcasts, hit that button. Let's do this. So we had 29 minutes. We had 29 minutes of this show already. And it's just flying by. Flying by. So you know what? Hold off. I'm gonna hold off for another shot. Michelle J. Hey, hey, party people. Hey, party people, aka GTL family. Cheers. Yeah. Mr. AJ, I'm drinking. I got a grandson, AJ. Should do. Mr. AJ, I'm drinking Everclear. I'm so happy. Everclear? You better be drinking some water. You better be seeing some water. You're drinking some Everclear. Everclear, boy. Ooh. Everclear. That's like creek liquor. Mmm. Some <laughs> Everclear. Yo, you, you might need a checkup. Mm hmm Jack Nemes, Captain, you got to go live during the LSU game. LSU don't scare me. Angel Reese scores on smaller defenders. Watkins and Cardoso give her trouble like Aaliyah and Saxon did last year. 
Williams will meet Bree Hall Thursday also. You know, I thought about going live. I thought about going live during the game. Can I do a watch party? I mean, y'all let me know if that's a good idea. If y'all actually watch it, you know, we can do a watch party. You know, we can watch the game and chop it up and do all that cool stuff. And um, you just, you just let me know. Just let me know if y'all want, want me to do that. Because I, I mean, I, I'm here for y'all. So whatever y'all want to do, I will do. I'm transparent. That's what I'm going to do. Because I'm going to be watching. Everybody going to be watching. Everybody going to be watching this game. So if you want to do go live with Captain Will, just let me know. Ryan Rowe, we have a complete team. True point guard in Johnson. True shooting guard in Pow Pow. True center. Cardozan. I'm watching the best coach in college basketball. Ryan Rowe, great comment. Great comment. Great comment. You, you, you have... Dude, you can, I couldn't say it any better. True point guard and rating. Extraordinary shooting guard in Tessa. In Tessa. And what well, she is an extraordinary shooting guard. Uh, and, and Tina Pow Pow. You had a three and Bree Hall who could do a little bit of everything. Bree had a solid game, solid game tonight. She still had eight points, two for four from the three. Bree does what she does, you know. And Cardoza is, and Cardoza is the type throwback center. That Carolina always have. We are not the norm. We are not the norm. So in watching the game with uh, Iowa and Ohio State earlier, I see back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. No defense. No defense. I see McMahon, uh, uh, the sophomore who played in the uh, with the under 19 during the summer for Team USA. I seen her just doing work on the post. But she's only like six one, six foot six one, and she's strong. But she was straight bullying I down low, and I'm sitting there thinking like, if McMahon is bullying Iowa, what in the world is Camila Cardoza, Ashlyn Watkins, who is the bully of college basketball, Sonia Fagan, Chloe is gonna do to them? I'm like. What what in the world? What in the world? They we I have a throwback center who is elite at six foot seven, who scores the basketball, who gets rebounds, who blocks shots. Ninety-eight percent of the teams in the country don't have that. They still want to do this three-point shooting uh contest. Three-point shooting contest. And if you want to play that way against South Carolina, I encourage it. I encourage it. You want to play the three-point shooting game against South Carolina, against the best shooting team in the country, not by volume, but by efficiency and by percentage. South Carolina. We can do that. We can do that. It's your choice. Again, it's your choice on why you want to lose. We can beat you up down low if you don't double cover Cardosa. If you double cover Cardosa, Tina Pow Pow, Bree Hall, Raven Johnson, Tessa Johnson, my ladies and fool, while they're going to light your eyes up. It's your choice of how you want to lose the basketball game. Your choice. South Carolina's turning up. The, 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 the Dow been turned up with Kentucky. The Dow continue to be turned up against A&M, uh, and it's going to be turned all the way up against LSU. You want to get the best version of South Carolina on Thursday night. You're going to get you're going to see the best. And then we got Vanderbilt on Sunday. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. South Carolina is statement making time. It's statement making time. Gang got fanatic. The whole dang bench ball out. Oh Lord. Help them with tack is healthy. When a Dale Tack six foot five, a Dale Tack is healthy this year. Uh 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 by the summer workouts. Who is another old school center? It just comes in waves, y'all. Just comes in waves. We just it just continues on, like it just going and going and going. And listening to the halftime show, the commentators is almost out of uh uh, uh out of adjectives. They don't know what to say. They can't just come out and say it. Carolines is so much better than everybody. They can't say that. They want to say it. One of them almost said. It. It's all it's better than everybody. And we, 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 they're begging me, we go to the bench, and there's no drop off. There ain't no drop off. And in some cases, it's better. 
South Carolina leading the country in bench points. It, it, it's just crazy. It's crazy. There's so many, so many adjectives, so many different words, so many different adverbs. So many things you can say about this Carolina team. There's so many things you can say. And then the, you mentioned the best coaching staff. The best coaching staff in basketball. The best coaching staff in basketball. I mean, you show me somebody who's better. Show me who's coached better. Show me with the show me anybody with the resume that Don Staley has as a player and as a coach. Hall of Fame player, Hall of Fame coach. What the hell? That's Don Staley. Bro. That's what we got. That's what we got. So it's just, it just so amazing. Randy Poole, Malaysia's ability to drive the lane and finish a dish has been underutilized. You know, um, huh. I think it's, you know, Randy Poole, great comment, first off. If you got me pausing, you know it's a great comment. So, so. I think the version of Full Wally, the best version of Full Wally was tonight. I think she is learning how to be a complete basketball player. I think she's learning how to be a complete basketball player because we know she can do the sensational. She had a, a, a couple of sensational plays tonight. She knows that she's fascinated about the court. She had the corners around. It's just a matter of balancing the foul situation because she still tries to block every shot. It's a matter of her sometimes reaching in and getting those ticky tack fouls. It, and it's a matter of her just, you know, playing within the system. Because sometimes you let Malaysia get in her bag, then we got some playground basketball and she making somebody look crazy. You know, but but you know, we want to see the playground basketball every so often, Malaysia, but you know, you still want to see her be that complete point guard that we're going to see for the next four years. I mean, just to, for comparison's sake, for comparison's sake, um, Malaysia Full Wiley is like a step above Henny during her freshman year. She's like a step above Henny when her freshman year. And Henny was really good her freshman year. But Malaysia, Malaysia Full Wiley is something different in soccer. She has something different. She got, she's at an old pace. She had a whole shot. She she some she doing some things that 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 you as a freshman or a freshman on this basketball team. She she doing some stuff. That's she doing some stuff. And she so so I, I mean she she finishes at will sometimes. She does. Tonight, I guess AM, I thought I think that they started giving up probably midway through the third quarter. And it was just like layup after layup after layup. And it's just like what it wasn't even close. It wasn't even close. But she's so fast. And she will abuse a defender. She will abuse the defender because she's faster than them. And it's, it's tough. When you're not used to that speed, it's a problem. It's a problem. Virgil Wimberly. What's up, bro? For a while, it makes defenders look like they are playing in cement shoes. You are so true. They are, it's like we playing, we playing a game, we pressing the B button, and they not. They, they, we in turbo mode, and they just a regular play. It, it, it was, and I'm like, wow, she's so fast. She's so quick to the basket and can finish layups. So just effortlessly, effortlessly, effortlessly. You know, that's a tough word sometimes, effortlessly. Say it fast, effortlessly. You can't say it fast. You say, say it fast. You, your tongue just get all twisted in knots. It does. It does. Uh, Max twenty, Max Power twenty four seven. Max, what's up, my bro, my guy? Um, yo, check out Max Power twenty four seven too. He got a good podcast. Check him out. I think Game Cops will win, but it's not going to be easy. Michaela Williams getting hot would be a huge problem. Um, well, all right. Think about this right here, man. First, like, thanks for the comment too, fam. Um, I think it was like kind of like in this. 
I think it's going to be a close game early on. I do. I think the the waves of really good players is going to affect LSU. And I think that somebody will be in foul trouble early on LSU side. Somebody. I don't know which one. It could be, it could be, it could be Michaela. It could be Angel. It could be Morrow. I don't know who it's going to be, but somebody's going to be in foul trouble early. And when they play so many minutes and you only play six players in South Carolina, the only way you cannot defend South Carolina, you can't defend Cardoza without fouling her. You can't. So I think the numbers are going to catch up with them in foul trouble. And I think as the game goes along, I think South Carolina will do what South Carolina does. I think the first half is going to be decently close. I do. But that first quarter, if somebody's in foul trouble on LSU, this game might be a rout. It might be a rout. You might have half the people gone out of that stadium. For real. It might be a rout. So let's do let's do a shot. Let's do a shot o'clock. And we're doing the Vegas. We're doing the Vegas shot glass this time. And I'm trying to decide what I'm gonna do for my birthday. I turned 49. I turned 49 in June. And I know my parents are watching, like, yeah, I'm turning 49 in June. And Vegas is normally my happy place. It is my happy place. You know, good food, good environment. You know, we always do a show. You know, ga- you know, gamble, drink, all that cool stuff that I like to do, right? So Vegas might be a destination spot for my birthday, 49. I know for 50th, it's going to be lit. 50th birthday next year, 2025. Y'all might get an invite. It's going to be off the chain. So get your shots up. Shot o'clock. Shot, 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 Everybody. Here we go. Mm, mm. Woo! What happens next? I'm excited about this this game. This is my Super Bowl. What happens next? I don't know if you're male or female, but I just like this fam. It's mine too. It's my Super Bowl. Right now, because I got three three levels of Super Bowl. So my Super Bowl, first level of Super Bowl is this game on Thursday night. I'm going to be hyped the whole week. And the pregame, the pre pregame, the pre pre pregame are going to be off the chain because all, it's just all LSU. It's just all LSU talk, right? So that's the first Super Bowl. The second one is UConn. Second one is UConn. We got UConn Super Bowl day, February 11th. And I know that UConn isn't as stout. With all the injuries, but it's still UConn. It's still Geno, and they come to Colonial Life Arena. My third one is the Final Four. That's my that that that's my third one. But the first Super Bowl, so we got to take the first right now. My first Super Bowl is Thursday night, and we're talking about the wings. We're talking about the um the French fries. We're talking about the you know the the, the tacos, because I like me a good taco. We're talking about some appetite. You know, we, we talk about that. We're talking about all the, the festivities of, of good good eating. We're talking about the tailgating, because I'm tailgating at my house. Tailgating at my house. And it's going to be cold. It won't be as cold. It's supposed to be warm up. I know it's been cold last couple of days. So I'm going to be tailgating at, at my house. And it's going to be turned up. It's going to be turned up. So I can't wait. Everybody been waiting for it. And it's here. It's here. All the talk, all the blah, blah, blah. All the hearsay that we beat y'all by 24 points last year. All this stuff. It's about to come to fruition again. The number one team in the country, once again, is that we coming down in your spot. Y'all, we, y'all invited us to your home. Y'all invited us to your home. We got the invitation. We bring the aluminum foil. Down to Baton Rouge. We got the aluminum foil. We got the Tupperware. That's what we got. 
Y'all invited us. You ain't say how long we can stay. You ain't say we gotta act a certain way. Y'all, y'all invited us to y'all spot. Except y'all invited us to y'all spot. We bringing a whole lot of friends with us to y'all spot. Whole bunch. We pulling up. We pulling up at y'all spot, Baton Rouge, and we coming dressed and ready for battle. That's what we doing. LSU, LSU. Now I hope y'all do this whole um, Kim Mulkey celebration night. I hope y'all y'all do all these all these great things. Game day is there. All these great things leading up to the basketball game. I hope y'all do. Hope you bring all the celebrities out, all the TikTok followers, all the social media giants, and all these things. Have Shaq at the game. All the LSU greats. Hope y'all bring them. Hope y'all bring them. But when the, when tip off starts, it's just basketball, and we're a better basketball team than you. We're a better basketball team. So, Robert, we need to run LSU to the tongue hangout. Bam. Challenge accepted. Challenge accepted. You want to play six players? By all means, play your six players. They ain't gonna be able to breathe. They ain't gonna be able to breathe. They won't be able to breathe. You play six players against South Carolina. And we like the 20, 22nd ranked team in terms of pace. Please. And you don't defend well. What? You and then and, and I like um Thomas Scuddy, the announcer. I like her. I like her a lot. But she when she mentioned that, I was like, wanna run? Mm-mm, girl. Mm-mm. You don't know. You 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 plan you the recipe for the disaster right there. You tell me you're gonna run with South Carolina. Mm-mm. You run with South Carolina, you play better play 10. You better play 10. No 10 better be good. But you playing six, maybe seven. But that six or seven person ain't gonna play that much. And playing South Carolina, this is a four by one relay team. This is a four by one relay team, and y'all uh, one person show. Mm -mm. That ain't what you want. That ain't what you want. Mm -mm. That ain't it. Now, TD Walker looked much better. Ooh, we got some love by Sakima Walker. We got some love by Sakima Walker, and I, you know, in, you know, I, and it was Sakima. With Sakima, Sakima gets more flack. And she's due. Sakima's 11th player on the bench. She's 11th player on the bench, okay? You look at Texas A&M. Texas A&M, they lost by damn near 40 points tonight. They still had their starters in the basketball game at the end, okay? Because they didn't want to lose by 60 or 65. But most teams don't play 11 players. Most teams. But South Carolina does. If there's a blowout or, or the game is out of hand, South Carolina will play. You know it's a blowout when you got Sanaya Jaw and you got Sakim against some run. We got 11 players. We typically play nine players. Nine players. And those nine players get 15 or more minutes to get basketball game. So when Sakima's in there, is everything is rushed. Everything is rushed because she knows she knows her time is limited. So you see a Sakima Walker who sometimes is playing rushed and 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 and, and just you know not not too uh, in control. But Sakima's still six foot five. She's played a lot of basketball, played ball at Rutgers, played at J.C. Nashia, Carolina. A extra year, if she used the COVID year, that'll do us some good. That'll do us some good if Sakima can use that COVID year and come back next year. That way you won't have to depend on a transfer to come in and play because while we still making sure Dale Tack is right. You won't have to rush that. But Sakima Walker played well tonight. She had four points, two uh, uh, two for two. Had a nice little old school hook. 
She played in her little minutes. She did well. But sometimes we give her too much flack. We give her too much flack. At Camp TV, South Carolina would beat LSU 90 to 77. I like the prediction, Cam TV. I like that prediction a lot. I like it a lot. That's a, that's a solid prediction. As we go on through the week, send me your predictions. And we'll, uh, I, I'll tell them on air. I tell them, you know, we'll talk about it. We'll talk about it. I don't know how many uh, live shows we're going to do. Well, I don't know how many live shows we're going to do this week, but it's going to be a few. It's going to be a few. We're going to be. We're gonna we're gonna over but we're gonna overblow this LSU talk like uh these NFL teams be overblowing this Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey mess. I'm gonna be talking about it a lot. But we 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 have to as Carolina fans, because you know every team, every team like have their their number one stunner. Every team has a number one stunner. And I number when I say that number one stunner, I'm talking about that 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 baller on that team. So you look at that's the alpha team. Sunday Cal, you talk about Juju. Iowa, Iowa, you talk about you know Clark. Utah, you talking about Peely. So many page backers in UConn. Uh, you know, it's so many like number one stunners across the land. Well, South Carolina, South Carolina don't have a number one stunner. We don't have one. We have a whole bunch of players that play basketball. Very, very. Well, so you don't know who's going to ball out. You don't know who's going to ball out. And our definition of balling out is maybe like tonight with, 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 with uh, Lele getting, you know, 21 points. That's balling out for South Carolina, 8 for 12. 8 for 12 with 21 points. That's balling out for South Carolina standards. You don't, you're not going to see no games with 30 points, 35 points, 40 points. You won't see that with Carolina. Because mm -mm. everybody eats. Ball movement, everybody eats. Everybody eats. So when you you got Cardoso, you got Pow Pow, and you got uh, uh, Bree, and you got uh, uh, Full Wally, and Raven, and, and Watkins, and you got so many players who can get points. Chloe. Chloe averaging close to a double-double herself. We ain't got a number one stunner. We got a... A whole lot of dimes, but no quarters. A whole lot of dimes, though. And those dimes been whooping up on these quarters that we've been seeing. Whole lot. Whole lot. At low key, the key is to get Angel Amaro in foul trouble and play all around defense and offense. They got to get tired quick because they have no one but the starters. You're right. You're right. Angel might be in foul trouble because this is the thing. Angel will be playing in the post. Angel's undersized. So we saw what happened with Angel Reese in uh, this summer, Team USA. It wasn't cute when she's going against uh, Brazil and won Camila Cardoza. We saw what happened to Angel Reese last year when played South Carolina. Size gives her problems. Size gives her problems. And go look at the stats that Camila Cardoza had last year against LSU off the bench. Straight took LSU's heart. Camila Cardoza numbers was better than Leah Boston's numbers against LSU last year. Cause six foot seven, six foot seven, six foot three, six foot three, six foot two, six foot five by Carolina beats Angel Reese at six foot three, and their only post player who gets time. I'm not talking about Rosario, who only gets a minute or two, a couple minutes. You're going to – and Morrow. I mean, Morrow's a really good player, six foot two, really good player. But somebody is going to get in foul trouble because they're not great defensively. So if you just average or good defensively, you're going to foul South Carolina. And you're going to put yourself into foul trouble. So you're trying to combat the size of six foot seven because you're not as big. You're in a fouler. It's going to happen. So what else you're going to try to do is try to get in transition and try to score easy. That's what that, that is, that's what they're going to do. But you're trying to score easy in transition and you try to run with Carolina, go, 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 go on and tap out. Go on and tap out. Go on and tap out because it ain't going to happen. It ain't going to happen. Christopher Jones, Joni's husband used to be on Don's coaching staff. Hey, that's a fun fact. I didn't know that. That's, that's a fun fact, Christopher Jones. 
Crunk Girl 711. Rosario is going to have to play. If, if, I tell you, I tell you this right here. I mean, she's six foot five, but she ain't ready to play no high level basketball. Because you got Rosario in, that means you ain't got Ray the Reese in the game. So I'm fine with it. And she and she and the pace that we play, Rosario ain't ready for that. Ready, 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 she ain't ready for that smoke. Cardoso beat, beat her down court every time. Every single time. I'm just saying. And you won't get no points from her either. Uh Shaquem. HVL is very slow. She can't keep up with full wide. That's the understatement of the night. There's no way in, in God's green earth that uh, 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 Haley Van Lips can guard no uh, no full wide. They it, when, when full wide is in the game, you got to put Flaje to slow her down. But then you got full wide in the game, you got Flaje, who's their best defender. Okay, so then you got full wide, you got Bree, you got uh, Raven, or you got full wide, you got Pow Pow, and you got. Uh, 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 it's so many different scenarios of, of disaster. There's so many different scenarios. Because, I mean, you put on one, somebody else can go off. You know, and you're trying to guard full Wiley. Well, she got a head of steam. No. Challenge guards have torch HBL with a poor defense. She is the offensive of liability. She is. HBL, Haley Van Lift, I bet, wishes that she was back. At Louisville, she didn't expect this. She didn't, you know, a couple of things she didn't expect. She didn't expect Michaela Williams to be so good because Michaela Williams to get the shots that Van Lith thought she was going to get. She didn't think she was going to be that good, but you know, it is what it is. It is what it is. So you put Haley, Haley Van Lith against uh Full Wiley, you put her against uh, you can any of our guards, it's a tough cover. A tough cover. B, one thing about this game, all that we're undefeated, we aren't the reigning champions, and so there's no pressure on us. I mean, you make a point that we're not the reigning champions, but we are the better team. We're the better team. We're the better team. We're better than the LSU this year and last year, even though LSU won the championship. LSU knew they were better. They went better than South Carolina. They know the last. They, so they, got, they still got those demons that's going on. They got the demons. Now, Morrow wasn't with the team. Okay, Haley Van Lith wasn't with the team. But Flaje was. Angel Reese was. They got some demons they got to deal with. The last time they took the court, we beat the brakes off of them. So there's it, it, some stuff. It's some stuff. Okay, but last time we didn't have pow pow. And we beat LSU without three point shooting. So now we got the number one three-point shooting team in the country coming on down to LSU. The number one team shooting the three ball. And pow, pow, at a full wild. So you got better three-point shooting, more athleticism going in there. Same defense. Still the number one ranked defense in the country. In terms of defensive rate, I don't care about no points per game. I hate when ESPN be throwing the, the points per game. Uh, they give up on defense. and Oh, uh, uh, LSU, the South Carolina is the number one scoring on team. No, no, it's that South Carolina number two. Scoring team on offense and LSU number one. LSU was playing some 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 community colleges and some some um um uh, some y, uh, YWCA's Man, on the schedule. Don't they don't count? Don't they count as NCC play? That was messed on count. You talk they played Midnight State. Midnight State is the worst team in college basketball this year. They played them. But those points count towards uh, 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 points scored and points defended. I just don't count. Well, all they matter matters is, is, is SEC play. That's the only thing that matters. All this other mess don't matter whatsoever. They miss me with all that. They you, you just be gonna be killing me with those stats. Let's talk about SEC play. And and Thomas Scotty made a point because he's talking about uh, Greasy Hall was shooting forty three percent from three point line, and then Thomas Scotty correct them. Correct the, correct the brother and said, no, she shoots 67% of NCC play. Because that's what matters. That's what matters. No, 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 no. None of this other stuff matters. It don't matter at all. You can play Gordon Ramsay team over and over again and get all these crazy points. But at the end of the day, your strength of schedule is like 160th. That don't matter to me. South Carolina strength of schedule is 20th. Come on. 
at trail. Y'all was better team than us last year. We destroyed that team. Y'all couldn't. That's true. Y'all, y'all, y'all destroyed the team that we couldn't, but we destroyed y'all. We beat the snot out of y'all. You had, you had, uh, you, uh, trail, bro. Y'all beat Iowa. Y'all beat Iowa. Y'all did. But we beat the snot. We beat the brakes off of y'all. You had Flaje, we're pinning in the pad, getting verses together because the game was a blowout. You had Angel Reese on the bench fish, fixing her lashes because the game was a blowout. It was bad. It was so bad. We beat up y'all. You, we beat up y'all. What you didn't see, what you didn't see in that ball, ball game is some taunting. That's what you didn't see. You didn't see no taunting with for no Angel Reese against our team. So y'all beat, y'all beat up on Iowa. Y'all did. It would beat us. Worst game we played. Worst game we played out of the year. Last year. That is that is so true. That is so true. Y'all beat, y'all beat Iowa. We lost to Iowa. But last time I checked, we beat up y'all. So your argument don't really matter. So cause because we beat y'all. We ain't playing Iowa. We playing y'all. And the last time we took the court against y'all, y'all was tapping out. Y'all was tapping out. This is mad. Mm. 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 This is mad. America, we love the South Carolina. We mad. We're the number two ranked team in the country. We mad. We mad. Kim Mulkey come out. Kim Mulkey came out of the press conference and oh, talk about the glory of South Carolina, how good we were. We mad. Mm -mm -mm. And you better be glad. You better be glad. LSU, you better be glad that Iowa did beat us. Because if we would have played y'all again, we would have embarrassed y'all on center stage. Because then, because you know the final four, you get all the people who don't watch women's basketball all year long. All year long. You get all the people who don't watch it all. And we would have beat the snot out of y'all, and we would have begun doing these commercials. We would have begun the NIL deals. All this mess. But the tide is turned. The tide is turned. And Trail and all my LSU fans, y'all know good and damn well y'all not as good as no South Carolina. Y'all know y'all not. Y'all ran off twice. You know y'all ain't good in South Carolina. Get the house to Hobart. Hobart? Bro. Come on now. You know you ain't good in no South Carolina. It's, it's cute, though. It's cute. It's cute. It's cute. It's nice. It's really nice that y'all, you know, got all those things. Ladies and gentlemen, make sure you subscribe to Gamecocks Talk with Captain Will. Hit the subscribe button. It's all y'all people watching right now. Make sure if you have not subscribed to this show, make sure you do so. Especially this way right here. It's going to be lit. It's going to be crazy. It's going to be crazy all week long. From Monday to Thursday. To Monday to Thursday into Friday morning. It's going to be crazy. Captain Will going to be on tilt this whole week. My wife ain't going to be able to stand me. She's going to put me outside. She'll probably be feeding me from an MRE or something because I'm going to be off the chain all week, all week long. So, and then subscribe wherever you get podcasts. Apple Apple Podcasts, iHeartRadio, all these different things that you get by. Just, that's what, you know, because I'm new to Apple Podcasts. So go to Apple Podcasts right now. If you hear me, hear me right now. Go to Apple Podcasts. Down, uh, Hit Gamecocks Talk with Captain Will so we can be number one across every platform. That's what we do. They scared. They scared out there. They scared out there because we we getting too 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 big. We 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 combating ESPN, the SEC Network, and Fox and all these other things. We doing that. So make sure you subscribe. I really do appreciate it. Really do appreciate it. Um, she is B Rain. How about them free throws, y'all? Stop calling them. Find a way to hit those free throws. South Carolina has hit those free throws in SEC play. We have hit the free throws. We're 5-0 in the conference. 
in one game, we shot 67% of the free throw line. Every other game, we 75% or better at the free throw line. So when I do a show tomorrow, talking about the stats after uh, 17 games, you know what's happening tomorrow. And we're going to talk some LSU because tomorrow you get two shows. You get two shows by Captain Will. Oh, with a lot of content, a lot of content. We're going to talk about it. Brian Blaze, I think Sanaya Fagan might stay. She's getting more minutes now. I'm balling. Bruh. Bruh. Facts. She is balling. She is confident. She is seeking contact. She is defending. She is doing well. She hit that three, and you couldn't tell her nothing. You couldn't tell her nothing. It was Christmas Day. You couldn't tell Sanaya Fagan nothing. She hit that corner three. And, you know, in that lineup, she was playing the three. That was that big lineup. Camilla Cardoza. Six foot seven, Sanaya Fagan, six foot three, Ashlyn Watkins, six foot three. We put that line up against LSU. They get no rebounds. They get nothing. I think that is a uh 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 appetizer, which you might see a little bit of. You might see a little bit of that rotation on Thursday. When they try to have a, a six foot or a six foot one player trying to guard that our three monster beast. Three monster beasts. That's probably wrong. Ain't, ain't triangle of terror. I like that one. Triangle of terror. I triangle of terror down low with them three. Hmm. That's trouble. Tip Brown. $50. Angel get her ball smacked into the stands like a Miller did old girl today. What? I ain't even talked about that. I ain't even talking about that. Camilla knocked that ball into the third or fourth row. Almost knocked the girl into the third or fourth row. And then she always do that look down. Like, what you like? What you look at that? You're too little. Don't bring that mess in. You're too, too, too small. It's too small. Like, mm mm. Tip Brown, great comment. Hope you're doing, hope everything is well. Neen Killy, regardless of the refs in LSU pocket, USC has multiple players that can bring in and out the game. They just have to stay true to the game. Absolutely. You're absolutely right. Great comment. We play Carolina ball, we win the game handily. That's all we have to do. We play Carolina ball. We're the better team. We're more talented. We're deeper. We're the better team. The refs, the refs better call a clean game. You got everybody watching on a Thursday night. Ain't no football. It's 8 o'clock prime time. This is huge for women's basketball. The number's going to be off the chain. The refs better call a clean game. And don't have the referees decide the game for South Carolina or LSU. Don't do that. Just call a clean game, let the girls play, and the best team wins. That's all I want. I don't want to be talking about no referees on Thursday night at around 10 o'clock at night. I don't want to be talking about no referees. I want to be talking about a good game between two quality teams and how it's going to uplift women's basketball. Nothing else. I don't hear nothing else about this mess. They better call a clean game. Everybody watching. This is the biggest game before the Final Four, right here. Now, there been some. you know another thing I'm pissed off about? I'm pissed off about all these good games on Pac-12, and you got to have a, a Pac-12 uh, G5 classified uh, code and to, to, to log on and all this mess. That is, that is not good for basketball. It's not good for women's basketball having all these games on Pac-12 when ESPN got a 1,000 channels. Those Pac-12 games, Plenty in Southern Cal, Colorado, UCLA, all those really good teams. You got to have a dog on account to watch the game. That's not right. They should be on regular ESPN Plus networks, SEC network. You can't put on SEC network, but ESPN Plus, they showing all these other little small schools on ESPN Plus. You can't see these Pac-12 dominant games. No, I don't like that whatsoever. Mm -mm. I don't like that. Mm -mm. You got to do better. You got to do better. You shouldn't have to log in to see quality. You should make women's basketball easy. The easiest to find. Don't seek it out. You're trying to uplift the sport. If you're trying to uplift the sport, put, make it easy to assess, easily accessible. Why they got a Walmart at every corner? Because it's easy to, to get to. You make it easily accessible, the, 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 the fan base will grow. The fan base will grow. I don't like that mess. South Carolina basketball is on a different level than the rest of these 359 teams. 
different level. Different level. But I'm excited about the team. I'm excited about the coaching staff. I'm excited about the culture. I'm excited about where this program is going. And I'm excited that it's LSU week. I'm excited it's LSU week. And we about to turn up tomorrow. So make sure you all stay tuned. I'll make sure I drink water and stay hydrated this whole week. Because it's about to go down. This concludes another episode of Gamecocks Talk with Captain Will. I am your man, Captain Will. Make sure you like. Make sure you share. Make sure you subscribe. I really would appreciate it. Subscribe and subscribe wherever you get your podcast. You are now, you are now rocking with the best. And since you're rocking with the best, come rock with your man, Captain Will. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go.